This 26% uh, one might even consider it's uh, relatively low uh, and it's based on, uh, on experience of that uh, age group of uh, the workforce and that reflects clearly that a lot has to be done to improve the health and safety conditions at work and not only at work but also in a wider sense, combining in a coherent way working life and family life, the work-life balance, and a lot more. So that's why this campaign was so much important. First of all, first of all, companies must provide healthy and safe working conditions, I would say decent working conditions with decent remunerations where the workers employee satisfaction reaches the level where the commitment and readiness to contribute even more comes along. Uh, First of all, the present workplaces must be designed in a way which suit the workers and not the other way around. Of course, as the workers are aging and the workforce is aging, you have to find appropriate measures and appropriate applications of, of the workplace to the individuals. On the long term, those who are beginning now their working life must be also aware of the fact that they would need or even wish to be working after 40, 45 years. So throughout the whole working life there should be quality workplaces provided and quality working conditions and working conditions is much wider than the workplace itself. Well, new technologies can uh, take over uh, difficult, hard working or hard uh, work. New technologies can be designed to help the human being to undertake the work and new technologies can also to say bring more higher level of production higher level of services on the other hand, we also have to evaluate what kind of new risks the new technologies might bring around. What kind of psychosocial risks might uh, come up. We speak about modernization, digitalization, robotization, new technologies, which all have brought about in the, in the past uh, years, and that's what all the uh, findings uh, show of the different surveys that psychosocial risks are growing also around, um, among uh, also according to the replies and responses of uh, workers or enterprises asked on the other hand the traditional risks regarding MSD regarding uh, difficult postures regarding uh, heavy loads and so on uh, are also not decreasing. So we have to see the two together. And if we see technologies, new technologies, we have to find the best way how 
something risky or hazardous can be replaced. I think the campaign has reached its objective. We have found a lot of very good practices and we have also identified further further questions we need to address and we need to uh, reply. I don't think that with the closing of this campaign uh, the work uh, stopped. We have to carry on at national level, at workplace level, very much basing ourselves on the use of the findings, experiences, materials collected and acquired during this uh, campaign. And I think the immense knowledge uh, with the European Agency for Health and Safety at work here in Bilbao, uh, the know-how is available, we just need to use it to do better for the future.